Like, some guy, I think to river. Hello, our viewers. Today we are at Rubonge Army Secondary School. Uh, we have one of the players of Rubonga Army Secondary School Boys Football Team, and he is the captain. Uh, we shall not say much. Let him introduce himself. Okay, dear our viewers, by the name of Derek Joseph, known as Wellingham, here in Rubonga Army Secondary School. As the presenter said, I'm the school captain of this school, 2020, 2024 2025. Thank you. Yes, so, uh, so Wellingham, I like that name, is it? Some are connected to Bellingham. Yes, some are connected to Bellingham. This comes about because Bellingham is my role model mm. in young football. Mm. Then Soedi, Soed is my coach's name. So I decided to remove the first letter from the name Soed to make to join it to Bellingham's name. So mm. I came up with the name Soellingham mm. as so, my name. Mm. So So Wellingham, let me hope uh, the people outside there will know you as Wellingham. Though us here at Rubong Army, we know you as Onyapid Eric. So who is Onyapid Eric? Where do you come from? Like, who are your parents? People would like to know more about you. Yeah, the name Wellingham come from Malaba Amanite Sotin tribe. Then my parents are Amoit Margaret as the mother, then Katavas Joseph as the father. Hmm. I think that is it. So you, you, you have been one of the standout performers in football and that brings up the question how did you become such a good footballer where does your footballing journey begin from okay i started becoming a footballer after me watching a movie titled the Pele. that movie started with a young kid who used to play a marvelous game football so i was interested in that game i started playing these common games of ours known as kafundo in our language mm. so that's how i started my career and after i was instituted by Ojilo Collins and Odeke Fred of Mahaba Super Academy to join Mahaba Super Academy for my mm. career to continue. Mm -hmm. So you are saying that all the good football you have, you learned it from Mahaba Soccer Academy? Yes. So how, how, how did you uh, manage to join that? Because we, we have seen situations whereby even we have such soccer academies in our villages, in our towns, but sometimes to get in is not always easy. How did you manage to make it into to join it. The yeah, Mahaba Soccer Academy has its rules and the do's and the don'ts. So I decided to join Mahaba Soccer Academy because one, I was instituted by my friends. Another thing, the coach who trains Mahaba Soccer Academy was the best friend of my brother Onyapidi Dan Hill. So I decided to join there as I have said later on that that Ojilo Collins and Odeke Fred are the ones who instituted me there and the kind of the game they play is marvelous mm -hmm. and they are competitive in the game. So how many years have you been at Malawa Soccer Academy and how many trophies have you so far won uh, with Malawa Soccer Academy? Yeah, I joined Malawa Soccer Academy 25th of December after my P7, that was in 2019. So this, the academy has 27 trophies registered since that year I joined there. And the rank I have in that academy is the captain as well as mm. the army. Okay, I see. That is good. I uh, would like to know, like... Uh, you, what are some of the key lessons you have learned from your time as a player, like playing both for Malaba Soccer Academy and for Rubonga? I mean, what are some of the key lessons and some of the key achievements that you have uh, gained along the way? The first key achievement I've gained from both the school and the and Malaba Soccer Academy, one, at school here, we played football until the regionals, which have never happened since the school Rubong Army was formed. Then the next thing of the academy, Mahaba Soccer Academy, as I say, they, won 20, they, are, they have 27 trophies. Now currently, I won for them 11 trophies since the 2019 season, up to date. Wow, that is so impressive. Uh, the other thing I would like to ask is that we have seen very many talented young footballers whereby they reach a time and they say that, ah, for me, I have my talent. Why should I struggle with education? What is your say about that? My say is to believe in yourself. If you have something that you, you want to target on, you should believe in yourself, trust in yourself, be hardworking, be competitive, so that you can play your football until a higher level, where a scout may come and pick you to go to another level. As me, I've been picked by four schools now, but I'm just disorganized by my parents and the class I am. I'm in senior four, so I can't leave the candidate class to go for football first. But I promise next term, next year I mean, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, every footballer has 
a person they look to as their idol and role model who, who which person do you look up to as your role model which footballer would you look at as your role model the first footballer whom i look as my role model is lionel messi of argentina then the second role model whom i look at is jude bellingham of real madrid hmm. okay then does does that mean that you automatically support real madrid or your best player the your role model is a different person and then uh, even the team you support is a different team. No, that's the very team that I support in Spanish league, mm. in Madrid, and it's the very role model of mine, as well as Barcelona. On the other hand, mm. where the Lionel Messi, the okay with the others played before. Mm. Mm. Okay. Then what about in Premier League? Whom do you, which team do you support? I support the, the team that I have on my jersey here, Liverpool Football Club, mm. as the best league. This is just because they play marvelous game. They play as Mahabas Academy. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that is so uh, impressive. So we have we have heard stories that uh, playing football in Uganda is not uh, profitable, and for a footballer to enjoy football, he must travel abroad to enjoy from those countries that pay highly the footballers. What do you say about this? Yeah, it's true. Uganda, Uganda is corrupt via sports, most especially football. You see, the officials in Uganda sports don't take football serious so in order for me to avoid that i just come from here near near kenya i come from maraba so i can decide to play for kenya at least and i can get their citizenship so that i can continue with my career as mm. my coach so it, it what says mm -hmm. so uh it has been a very nice la learning more about you but as we near to summarize uh would like you to mention to us some of the in your playing career for both Maraba Soccer Academy and Tubongame Secondary School, who are those some of your top teammates that you that you you were you remember and said for sure uh, I played with this uh, this person and I I learned a lot from him or I really enjoyed our partnership with him and I played uh, one day one time we we meet even at a professional level. In taking Maraba Soccer Academy first, the first player whom I can mention is Odeke Fred, who is the winger at the team. The second player is Ederma Idi. The third is Ekiring Timothy. The fourth is Oronok Lement. The fifth is Osuna Joshua. Onyango Thomas. And Onyango Paul, plus the brother of the two Onyangos, who is Othieno Henry. Mm -hmm. So at school here at Bongi Army, the people whom I can meet to play for nationals, maybe professional level, are those of Chapa. We have Opio Philip, Ocheng Raymond, and mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there's an, a popular belief that uh, learners or uh, students have across that in case you are in a football team, then uh, all the girls in school are yours. Is, is it true? That's true. It depends on the passes, on the on mm. how you play. So it is mm. true. But to avoid that, you should not be near them. Because if you be near them, mm. your playing style reduces and you not play they used to. Mm. Okay. So uh, it has been a great time and as we conclude, I uh, would like you to share any last words you have for a young boy outside there who is uh, looking forward to be a powerful player, to play for big teams in the district, to play for big schools, to play for maybe one day to play for big clubs and also the country. What words do you have for such people? The words I have for such people is to avoid being in streets. Streets spoil children. So to avoid being in streets, at least they should join the academies, if any, in their area, or to look for somewhere where the academy is to, in order to avoid that. And another thing that I can tell the street, like street boys to do, is to help their parents go for education in schools, as I do here. So thank you. Okay, thank you so much for your time. We wish you all the best in your career. And we hope, perhaps, one day we shall see you in Uganda, Queens. Is that part of your dreams? It is part of my dreams, yes. But as I say that Uganda, though Uganda is corrupt, if she fails, we shall move to Kenya because I just come from here near Kenya and I have my objectives and goals towards football. The first objective is to construct for my parents. Mm. That's the first objective. The second objective is to develop my Abbas Academy as a player, mm. like bring for them, buying for them bus in the future as I play my football in upper leagues such like English Premier League, mm. Spain Premier League, Spain, Spanish La Liga, among other leagues. So those are the objectives and goals that I'm looking at. Okay, please wish you all the best. May your dreams come true. Take Thank care. You. Mm.